Over a year ago, I made the perfect Minecraft elevator. While I was busy doing other things, <laughs> Create was busy updating their mod, and they added this, which has allowed me to make even perfecter elevators. Why can't we say perfecter? We can say hotter, we can say colder. These elevators are even easier to build and more compacter. To make one of these, you need a redstone contact and an elevator pulley directly above that contact. Power the pulley, right click the pulley with an open hand, and you have an elevator. But how do we make it move? You need some more redstone contacts. You're gonna have to get your wrench out. Now this is an elevator contact. As long as they're directly above or below one another, they're gonna turn into elevator contacts. Now we need a button on each one. If you push the button, the elevator will go directly to that floor. But if I'm standing on it, how am I supposed to push the button if I don't, I, I could push, but not the other, where, how do I? To do that, you need contraption controls. Click the pulley with an open hand. This allows you to make changes to your elevator car. Stick the controls on there, super glue them. Right click the pulley again. But uh, how do you see the controls? That's better. If I use my mouse wheel while looking at this number, it'll go to that floor when I right click. It goes directly to the floor that you're looking for. That's pretty fancy. So this works, but we can definitely do better. Let's build the car first. I'm gonna start with two blocks. We need a controller on our car. I'm gonna put a framed glass trap door. Another block on top of that, a contact an andesite door, and some more framed glass trap doors on the sides. I found this to be the most compact car that you could make that's still practical. Now we'll place our elevator contacts there, one here, and another one here. We'll place our pulley. You could go over either of one of these two blocks. Give it some power. Don't forget to glue your car together. Right click the pulley, and we have our elevator. I'm going to dig out these two blocks right here so the elevator will go down into the floor. The door will activate as you would expect it to automatically. Now I'm going to build a little door around each one of these contacts. And just for demonstration, I'm going to add in another floor. If you take another door and place it underneath one of these redstone contacts, and I'm going to do each one so you can see this. When the redstone contact is activated, it's actually putting out a redstone signal, which will open the door. When it's off, the door is gonna be closed. So now you have a way to keep yourself from falling into the elevator shaft if the elevator's not there. And when the elevator shows up, that door and the door on the elevator car will open automatically. That is so cool and it's so much perfecter. Let's go for a little ride. I have one more design I'd like to show you. Four blocks to make the floor of the car, our contraption controls, some blocks to be the walls. I'm just using these copper casings. Some sea lanterns or some other light block on the ceiling. And then we're gonna replace this one with a redstone contact. Redstone contact there, a block here. Put in these copper doors on this one. Then some brass doors, some brass casings to make a little door for the elevator. We'll make a door down here as well. A redstone contact. Finish the door, extend our flooring a little bit. And then we'll just make a partial door on the top. Super glue our car together. And last, we'll set up our elevator pulley. And right click our pulley with an open hand. We should also probably put some buttons. This design is a nice little two by two elevator. Works the same way as the other one. As you can see, our doors still close and open. You can see it even more clearly up here. What a perfecter elevator. Well guys and gals, this has been Mr. Blockhead. I hope you're having an amazing, awesome, beautiful, fantastic day. And God bless.